And one of the things that really has, uh, that reminds me of why I do it is when I can produce a food and watch somebody taste it right here on the shore, when they're getting the wind in their face, the smells, the sounds, the, the visuals, every sensory input, and then they put the food that was produced from that in their mouth and they, their eyes roll back in their head and they're just in, in absolute food bliss. And that to me is one of the reasons why I choose to do that business, uh, continue to do that business. Tomales Bay is where we're primarily located and it's a remarkable area because it's a uh, relatively pristine body of water an hour, an hour and a half from a major metropolitan area. We're in our 30th year. Uh, we've made it this far. It's a long time to go on, on starting a business. We've got over 100 employees now. Um, we've got uh, the land base here in Marshall with a restaurant in San Francisco, a restaurant in Napa. We've got another farm that we've located in Discovery Bay up in Washington. So ocean acidification is caused by our human activities that generate carbon dioxide. We put carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by our industrial activities, by driving cars, things like that. The ocean is a tremendous sponge for carbon dioxide. It actually soaks it up. About 30% of what we put in the atmosphere ends up straight in the ocean. So what we see in the laboratory and in the real world is that due to ocean acidification, things like oysters grow smaller shells and perhaps weaker shells, more susceptible to predators. In terms of the actual chemistry of the ocean. It's happening fast enough that we can measure the change today. It's already, this is a train that has already left the station. Right, so sure. we at Bodega Marine Lab have partnered with Hog Island um, in placing sensors at their facility to try to understand how ocean acidification is impacting their business. And so we're asking scientific questions using those sensors and we're turning the data, data over to Hog Island Oyster Company for them to use for their business purpose, to protect their business from ocean acidification. What we have in place is a structure to use the best science to inform the best decisions. And furthermore, that structure has galvanized everybody who cares about the ocean in a single conversation to, to recognize that we need to work together, we need to talk across the aisle, and we need to work hand in hand to address these issues. When you've got policymakers that uh, read the research, understand the information, they act in California. And that gives me great hope and optimism that we'll do the right thing for our oceans and make sure that we pay the attention necessary to deal with ocean acidification. So what gives me hope is that there's now a community of people working on some of the big environmental challenges of our day in a way that there wasn't when I got into this business 25 years ago. I mean, the challenges are definitely greater than they ever have been, but the response to those challenges is likewise greater than it's ever been. I think that, that it, the synergy that's going on with the collaboration is something that I have never had before. And I, I'm, I think that that basically uh, indicates to me it's a wave, then we're, we're getting ready to ride a wave. It's our responsibility as a society to be able to address that and take that to the future.